Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back once again, this time for the final selection tournament. This is for the Wheel of Enormous Proportions. As many of you guys are well and aware, we, this is how it goes. Eight episodes, eight players. Look, you, we already, we've done this like three different times for these shows. And like I said, I'll explain more detail in the uh, community posts and the shorts videos and all that stuff. Um, yeah, I've been doing this all freaking day, getting everything all set up. I'm going to have a very, 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 very busy week ahead of me. So, without further ado, in case you haven't noticed, I have already overhauled the wheel. I pretty much threw out more than 80% of the wheel, slapped on some old uh, slices on there, including some brand new ones that you haven't seen before. I figured we would finally get some uh, fresh faces on board. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, spin the wheel and see what we're going to start with first. Our first item up on the docket is Eddie from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. This is for um, first slot in episode one. That's right. As you notice, I'm going to try and go towards the uh, lighter side of the characters. I don't have any um, has-been hotel or a hell of a bosses on this wheel because I figured I would have an episode in of itself very soon. Also, they've already appeared in like three other medley tournaments. I figured I would change things up a little bit, keep you guys interested, see what's going on. Uh, I, I got more medley tournaments coming on um, earlier next, um, next times around. Anyway, I'm going to spin the wheel. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get the next one going. Uh, that's the familiar face that we've always had. Adam Jackson, who, by the way, is once again, it, now he is doing all four of them. I did keep a few bits of the wheel slices on here just for the F of it. I needed to fill lots of spaces. I didn't really think a lot of stuff through when I decided to do 100 slices per reel. So anyway, spin the reel. And for slot number three, Cleveland Brown from Family Guy, also of the Cleveland show. That was a spinoff of Family Guy that ultimately failed because, yeah, they were just ripping off of Family Guy at this point. Spin the wheel once more. And Kyra from Farfetch. Okay, I did not really get rid of all of the independent animations lore. I did keep on the Farfetch characters. So I know there was a couple that uh, didn't make the cut in the previous selection. So I'm going to try and see if I can get Rachel on board. But. It'll all determined by the spin of the wheel. King Sombra, who is defending his uh, Trivia Murder Party um, Medley Tournament Championship, will also be in the Wheel of Enormous Proportions Medley Tournament. So we're going to Episode 6. Now, if you notice, things are a little different. That's because I'm recording with a brand new microphone. Bart Simpson is number six. Yeah, I'm recording with a uh, brand new studio microphone as opposed to just simply shouting on the top of my lungs at my computer and hoping that the built-in microphone would record my voice. It was extremely awkward and weird. Uh, I think I will be able to uh, post a picture of my microphone if you guys like it a lot better. Anyways... I think it was like uh, 60 bucks on Amazon, so it's not really the best of all time. Mort, not of uh, Rick and Morty, it's actually from Penguins of Madagascar. He was the, um, not the I.I., but the uh, mouse lemur that uh, followed King Julian around and was really addicted to his feet. He had a foot fetish like it was nobody's business. Anyways, we're going to spin the wheel one more time, see who gets the last slot for episode one. Ricky LeFleur from the Trailer Park Boys. Yep, we have Ricky. Um, that's the guy that always grows the hash plant and smokes them around. And he, 
and he always talks about getting learnt and stuff. I think he just got his grade 11. I'm not quite certain. But yeah, he's getting a little bitty smarter every season around. Oh, man. I do miss the Trailer Park Boys, even the uh, animated versions. I can't remember if there was any new episodes that came out. What are the boys doing over in Canada? Well, I guess not much. That's a lot to ask them about. Anyways, let's go. Um, Before we do, a um, little recap. Eddie from Edda and Eddie. Um, Adam Jackson, Cleveland Brown, Tyra King, Sombra, Bart Simpson, Mort, and Ricky for episode one. All right, here we go. We're going to spin the wheel. This is for the first slot of episode two. I'm going to try and speed things along so we don't um, end up Amy Rose, um, that we don't end up um, uh, going too long at this because I really want to get started on the, the Trivia Murder Party and the uh, full screen and the uh, Bill of Enormous Proportions. Amy Rose is uh, first slot of episode two. Next on the docket is Bingo, Bluey's sister from the Bluey series. Uh, definitely one of those things my nephew just watches way too much of. <laughs> hey, Disney Plus on the tablet. What'd you expect? Spin the wheel. Let's see what we get on this one. And this one is... Lagoshi from Beastars. This will be a very interesting episode. Yeah, I know I'm saying it again, but you know what? It will be a very interesting episode. All of the episodes will be very interesting. All right, spin the wheel. Let's see what else we get. We have... Pipe. There we go. We finally got Piper. We have Piper from uh, Farfetch'd. Finally got to see her on board. Uh, she is the uh, guitarist. And the one that dresses up like a uh, bit of a witch. I like it. I, I really like her uh, style. Anyway, I'm going to go and spin the wheel once more, see what else we can grab. Patrick Starr from Spongebob Squarepants. Oh, man, I really need to um, uh, specify Patrick Starr. But, uh, yeah, that he also has his own um, Nickelodeon show now called The Patrick Starr Show. And um, I've actually watched a couple of episodes of it with my nephew, and it's not too bad. In my opinion, not the best, but hey, at least it's not. Oh God, what's a, what's a horrible comparison? Rugrats re reboot. Yeah, Rugrat Rugrats reboot was absolute nuts. Absolute nuts in that regard. Anyway, um. We'll go to the next slot. Number six in episode two belongs to Leahy from the Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> oh, good lord. I've always wondered what his burning question will be. It's going to either be doing with Randy Bo Bandy or shitloads of liquor or some sort of a shit mism. Like the shit hogs or the shit NATO. Oh, I am cursing a lot. <laughs> hey, it's Leahy from the Trailer Park Boys. Uh, God, r rest in peace, John Dunsworth. Uh, rest in peace, John Dunsworth. You were an excellent actor. All right, here we go. Um, number seven for episode two is... Discord finally got the uh, Draconic Quest uh, Master of Chaos, voiced by John Lancey. Finally got him on board. Here we go. We finally got Discord. Spin the wheel once more. See what we can get for the episode two last slot is. Maurice from uh, Penguins of Madagascar and All Hail King Julian. Maurice is um, King Julian's assistant. Oh, God, I'm hiccuping like crazy. I practically drank my weight in uh, hot tea, ladies and gentlemen. It It is cold and freezing in Houston. Oh, God dang it. Uh, uh, okay, I'm going to try and um, recap episode two before I get my next hiccup. 
Amy Rose, Bingo, Lagoshi, Piper, Patrick Starr, Leahy, Discord, and Maurice. All right, and by the way, Discord is the Draconicus uh, creature from My Little Pony, not to be confused with the uh, social media app uh, that features um, crazy crap going on. Anyway, spin the wheel. We're going to get started with slot one for episode three. Rico, the weapons expert of Penguins of Madagascar. Known of only a few words, but he is a man that can swallow anything, store anything, and blow anything up with any people. Kaboom? Yes, Rico. Kaboom. Next slot available is... Rainbow Dash. Always keeping things 20% cooler and 10 seconds flat. God, I miss being able to do that line. It's been several years since I've been able to use that line. Mm, so satisfying. So satisfying. Next, uh, next uh, character on the docket is... Skipper! The leader of the Penguins of Madagascar. Oh, this is going to be an interesting episode. Skipper and Rico in the same in the same pit dip. Let's go ahead and uh, spin the wheel one more time to see who's going to um, get the next one. Lisa Simpson, also who is apparently president of the United States still, in accordance to Chris Chan. Because why the hell not at this point? We're all going down the rabbit hole. If you haven't done so, guess what? I'm dragging you there. All right, spin the wheel once more. And we have... Rigby from the regular show. Alright, Rigby from Regular Show. Love that raccoon. I love the regular show. Kinda kinda wish they did some more seasons. But hey, they actually did a dang good um send off. I kinda like it. Anyway, spend the wheel, see what else we get. Next up on the docket, Stewie Griffin from Family Guy. Uh yeah, he's a household icon at this point. I don't think I need much explaining on who Stewie Griffin from Family Guy is. Let's go ahead and just uh, get our arms tapping. Next up on the docket is Glenn Cragmire from Family Guy. Giggity 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 goo. All right. What's not all right is trying to spell his freaking name. All right, there we go. We got Glenn Cragmire. Spin in the wheel. Let's get her on going. Next on the docket, and last one for episode three, Silver the Hedgehog, the one that kind of looks like a freaking weed plant that got uh, spray painted. Anyway, I just typed Silver Weed. <laughs> oh, God, I, I amuse myself at times. All right, there we go. Uh, recap for episode three, we have Rico, Rainbow Dash, Skipper, Lisa Simpson, Rigby, Stewie Griffin, Blank Pragmar, and Silver the Hedgehog. We're going to episode four. First slot is to be occupied by Seymour Skinner! <laughs> oh man, I always love that one. Seymour Skinner! Also known as the main subject in the uh, uh, Steamed Hams. Steamed Hams, yeah. That's now a new um, thing we talk about when we grill burgers. Would you like some steamed hams? We are a very original family, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Tap the wheel. Let's get it spinning again. Next up on the dark, it is Haru the Rabbit from Beastars. Wait, Haru is the rabbit. Yeah, I got it right. Haru the Rabbit. Next up for slot three in episode four is... Bandit from Bluey. Bandit, I think, is the... Yeah, Bandit's the dad. Absolute cricket lover. And guess what, Bandit? So am I. Let's go, Team USA. Let's get the test result. Let's do test cricket. I know, I know. Test cricket can be long and boring. But you know what? If Team USA can make the test status and beat Australia and UK and all them other teams... Bangladesh, uh, New Zealand, we'd be happy. Anyway, let's go ahead and get it going.
Julian from the t Trailer Park Boys, and I may need to specify because I also have King Julian from Penguins of Madagascar on the wheel as well. But yeah, um, stupid, sexy. No wait, I don't think I don't think Lee ever referred to just a sexy, sexy Julian. Anyway, I don't ha I don't know if Julian ever had a surname, so I had to type down uh, Julian TP TPB on there. Anyways, we're gonna spin the wheel. Slot five for episode four is Bluey herself. Ooh. Yeah, I think the I think the whole episode's gonna be spent with Bandit's uh, hands over Bluey's ears because no 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 I don't think Julian's gonna be cursing too much. No, that's Ricky. That's Ricky. Ricky's the one that just says fuck in front of everything. Fuck's sake. All right, spin the wheel. Next item on the docket. I know we. I I am an interesting man. Andrews. I'm in. Of course, it's not. It's not a. Um, it's not a medley tournament without self-inserting my Mary Sue ass in there. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna Mary Sue myself. I am going in this just as blind as everybody else. All right. Next item on the docket. Tom Grassi! We all know who he is at this point. Of Tom Grassi co uh, comedy. Uh, like I say, I entertain myself. Alright, here we go. Next item up on the docket is. Bubbles from the Trailer Park Boys. Alright, so I think we got all three of the main boys. And I'm going to do Trailer Park Boys just to make sure we don't confuse uh, Bubbles for any other Bubbles such as Bubbles, Rose Chew, and I think Bubbles... No, I don't have Powerpuff Girls on the wheel, do I? I'll find out later. Anyway, Episode 4 Recap. Seymour Skinner, Haru, Bandit, Julian Trailer Park Boys, Bluey, Andex, Tom Grassi, and Bubbles from the Trailer Park Boys. Alright, here we go. Going to spin the wheel. First slot in episode five is Tails from the Sonic Lore. It's great to see Tails again. I think he's now in his third um, medley tournament. I think. Spin the wheel once again. See what else we can grab. Homer Simpson. Don't. Oh! Yep. Uh, he is definitely going to derp his way through the tournament. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't I cannot see him going into a championship, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and spin the wheel once again, see what else we can grab. Next on the docket is Manic the Hedgehog, Sonic's uh triplet brother from the Sonic Underground series. Swear to god they need to we need to figure out a way to finish the series. I think it was originally slated to go sixty five episodes. But they stopped it at 40, and they never finished the lore. We got to finish the lore. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. We got to finish the lore. Let's start the project. But first, we got to get the wheel spinning, because I, I got some more uh, slots in the medley tournament to fill. Anyway, we got Chris Griffin, ladies and gentlemen. The second dumbest member of the Griffin family, of course. Only second to that of Peter Griffin. Mag, who's next? Twilight Sparkle. And I think Twilight, yeah, I think this is Twilight's third appearance, I think. Anyway, we're going to spin once more. And we have Hitch Trailblazer. We're back with uh, Hitch. I think tr Hitch Trailblazers is in all three now? All four. I may be wrong. Let me know in the chat section if I was incorrect. Anyway, we're going to spin the wheel once again, and this time we're going to pick up Peter Griffin. Oh, we got a father-son dynamic. Although, Peter is going to try and cheat. Oh, and Peter Griffin and Homer Simpson is in the same episode. I'm going to say this again. We are going to be in for a very interesting tournament, ladies and gentlemen. And all the genders in between. Come on. 
Let's get on board. Last slot for episode five. Spin the wheel. Let's see what else we pick up. It shall be that of Warren from Farfetch. Yep, we're going to get Warren again. He is a very popular pick. All right, episode five recap real quick. Tails, Homer Simpson, Manic the Hedgehog, Chris Griffin, Twilight Sparkle, Hitch, Trailblazer, Peter Griffin, and Warren. All right, let's try and see how fast uh, we can get through episode six. Because I know you guys are looking supremely forward to the medleys. All right, here we go. Next up is... A rapper the Rapper! I've already explained who Prepper the Rapper in, in the previous um, uh, selection show. Let's just spin the wheel. See who else is next. Katie Cat from Prepper the Rapper. Nice to see her back. All right, next on the docket is... Marge Simpson. I've always wondered... How in the world has she managed to keep her hair up like that for all those years? Such an amazing thing. Anyway, slot four, episode six. Rarity? Of course, darling, it would always be rarity, rarity because she's just fabulous. I can't do a rarity impression. Let's just spin the wheel again, see what else we can grab. Next up is... King Julian, not to be confused with Julian from the Trailer Park Boys. We have, oh, this is going to be an interesting dynamic, seeing both uh, Julian from the Trailer Park Boys and King Julian from Penguins of Madagascar making it through to the championship round. Quite the interesting. Of course, every episode is going to be quite the interesting. Because it's a medley tournament. You never know what's going to happen. How many times do I have to say this? Lewis from Beastars. How many times am I going to keep saying this? Lewis, what am I saying? Every episode is going to be something interesting. All right, here we go. Slot 7 for episode 6. Whoo, boy. I've been doing this uh, selection show all day. Can you tell? Knuckles. All right, we're going to spin one more time. And next up is Plankton. He might actually win this one because he went to college. Uh, he never specified which college he went to, but he went to college nonetheless. All right, slot one for episode seven. We're going to spin the wheel, see what else we can grab. First slot in episode seven goes to... Zip Storm! Zip is back. I think this is Zip Storm's uh, third appearance, I believe. Uh, I want to say yes. I'll just assume it's yes, because I might be right. Anyway, next on the docket is... Maggie Simpson! The smallest of the Simpsons, and probably the smartest. That's right, Lisa. You got you, got you some effing competition, ladies and gentlemen. Better be, you better be scared. You better be prepared. Because Maggie's coming after you, Lisa. Quivering in your boots. Maggie Simpson, FT Dubs. All right, third slot is... Oh, oh, wait. I might... I may have spoken too soon, ladies and gentlemen. Kowalski has entered the picture and is in the same episode as Maggie. Analysis? It will be a very interesting episode. Anyway, spin the wheel. See what else we can grab. Next item is... Urinating tree! Of course! Finally! We're gonna get some representation from the greatest shit poster that has ever lived! The legendary urinating... Oh shit, I farted! <laughs> Oh, woo, that was a stinky one! But it's a urinating tree. Good 
<laughs> Imagine having someone naming their farts after urinating trees. Oh god. Oh, god. Uh, I I uh, I think I already know um what his epic uh question is. Stay less the Super Bowl! And I already have the answer for you, Tree. No! Fuck the Steelers! This year is a year of the Texans! We are going to the Tank Bowl! Vivian! Come on! I'm, I'm... Vivian, I got 12 more slots to fill. Vivian, come here. Sit. All right, Pops for the regular show. Uh, I'm going to have to do a jump in the latest one, and I need to find out uh, what Vivian is needing right now. Okay, I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. It was the neighbors uh, walking their dogs at 11 at night for some freaking reason. Anyway, we're going to uh, we're gonna go ahead and spin the wheel, get it on going. Sandy from uh, SpongeBob SquarePants. And if you still hear uh, Vivian barking, yeah, the neighbor, she gets excited when the neighbors bring uh, their dogs around, so. I don't understand it either. She already went for a walk. She already went for a freaking walk. Um, anyway, I'm losing my train of thought, ladies and gentlemen. This is what happens when you take care of dogs and you're supposed to be recording stuff for the YouTube. You lose your train of thought. And in case anybody's asking, yes, I will be putting a, a picture in of Vivian on the uh, thumbnail for um, Trivia Murder Party or wh whatever episode she was supposed to be featured in. Anyway. We're going to go ahead and try and finish this up real quick. Ah! Ho, ho, ho! Quinn Huxley! Quinn uh we all know who Quinn is. You know who Quinn is. I know who Quinn is. But the question is, does Quinn know who he is? Of course he does. But does he have what it takes to... Oh, wait. He probably doesn't because Urinating Tree, Maggie Simpson, and Kowalski's in the same episode as him. Anyway, final slot for um, episode 7. Randy, Randy, Bo Bandy from the Trailer Park Boys, and I promise I will not use the term Randy Bo Bandy ever again. I do apologize if you uh, cringed at me saying that. Anyway, um, episode seven recap: Zipstorm, Maggie Simpson, Kowalski, Urinating Tree, Pops, Sandy, Quinn Huckley, and Randy. All right, final episode, eight more slots. Let's go and get these filled up supremely quickly. Next on the docket, Sonic. Of course, the OG Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog. All right, next up is uh, going to be Applejack. The hardworking Earth Pony from Sweet Apple Acres. Dang it, I got the reference correctly. Oh. I'm amazing at times. Double D from Ed and Eddie, the sockhead that is also the big genius and the voice of reason. And pretty much everything. All right, spin the wheel. Let's hurry up. We got uh, five more slots to fill up. Next on the docket is Joe Chin from Parappa the Rapper. All right, slot number five to be filled up with. Juno from B Stars. That's the uh, female uh, wolf character. And I think at one point was either um, uh, uh, Legoshi's love interest 
or probably the other way around. I, I'm not sure. Anyway, I, you could tell I watched B Stars. I did not. That was a total fucking lie. Oh ho ho! Nightmare Moon. Welcome to the medley tournament. Oh, I, I've always wondered. Oh, I think I already know what her burning question is. Shall the night live on forever? And the answer? Yes. Let the night live on. Oh, wait a minute. If the night lives on forever, I'd be dead. No. Please, no. Uh, that's definitely what the wheel probably might say. Anyway, two more slots left to fill. Next up is going to be... Griff from Farfetch, we all know who he is. Shaggy's Apprentice. Alright, one more go, and we're going to triple spin this one. For absolute randomness, final slot of the final tournament medley is... Well, 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 CM Punk! I did not expect him to actually show up. But ladies and gentlemen, yes, CM Punk Episode 8. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to recap the Wheel of Enormous Proportions Medley Tournament entire lineup. Episode 1, Eddie from Ed and Eddie, Adam Jackson, Cleveland Brown, Kyra, King Sombra, Bart Simpson, Mort from uh, uh, Penguins of Madagascar, Ricky from the Trailer Park Boys. Episode 2, Amy Rose, Bingo, Lagoshi, Piper, Patrick Starr, Leahy, Discord, Maurice. Episode 3, Rico, Rainbow Dash, Skipper, Lisa Simpson, Rigby, Stewie Griffith, Greg Glick, Glenn Cragmire, Silver the Hedgehog, Episode 4, Seymour Skinner, ha Haru, Bandit, Julia Trailer Park Boys, Bluey, Myself, Tom Grassi, Bubbles from the Trailer Park Boys, Episode 5, Tails, Homer Simpson, Manic the Hedgehog, Chris Griffin, Twilight Sparkle, Hitch Trailblazer, Peter Griffin and Warren, Episode 6, Perrupper the Rapper, Katie Cat, March Simpson, Rarity, King, Julian Lewis, Knuckles and Plankton, Episode 7, Zip Storm, Maggie Simpson, Kowalski, the legendary urinating tree. Pop, Sandy, Quinn Huckley, Randy from, <clears throat> from Trailer Park Boys. Woo, managed to avoid saying that. Randy Bobandy. Damn it. Episode 8, Sonic, Applejack, Double D from NNN, Joe Chin from Forever the Rapper, Juno, Nightmare Moon, Griff, and of course, CM Punk. CM Punk, CM Punk. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it uh, for the uh, medley tournament selection shows. Uh, like I said, I'm going to post some more details on how I'm going to operate them um, in the uh, in the uh, community post in later shorts. If you like this, please give this a like, share, subscribe. Um, I'm going to be working all day on the medley tournament, so y'all get ready. Um, I will let you know when the first set of episodes will officially drop. Who is going to win the medley tournament championships? Place your bets. Who will it be? It can be anyone at this point. All right, and I will be able to, and I will try to uh, do my best to post the entire uh, lineup to see if I can get them to fit to print, which uh, no promises there because, yeah, whoo, look at all that. Anyways, um, I have been indexed. It, you've been watching 259 Sports and Simulations. Don't forget to make sure you are subscribed, and I shall see you all in the uploads of the murder party, the, the, the medley tournaments. All right, I'll see you when I finally get around to uploading them, um, and I will let you guys know in the community post and in the shorts. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and kill this.